Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to do the contract called Airport. So we are at the railway terminal in Crossroads and we need to bring four oil all the way up to Harvest Corp which means we're either going up sorry this is going really slow we're either going up to the Institute or all the way to the side into Heartlands and then from one of those we have to go to Harvest Corp. I think we're gonna go through the Institute because I have uh, a collab right here which we used in one of the other videos we drug a repair truck back to this point and then I just drove it up the road to the trailer store or actually past the trailer store but so once we get into the Institute the plan was to turn off here go across here and then go up here and cross and probably refuel at this point and then go up and through the gateway here then we would come into Harvest Corp at the top here go down this way turn here and then cross the river here and I have a Kirovitz K7M that I drove out here that has the maintenance add-on so we have a little bit of fuel and I figured if this river crossing is tough uh, we got a big tractor to pull us across and then we'll go down this way all the way to the airport which has the helicopter so that's the plan but yeah right now we have the Western Star 49X so for some reason I don't know why I put the high saddle on this and I drove it down here. After I got to the uh, trailer store, I'm like, wait, why did I put a high saddle? I'm like, uh, well, whatever, it's, I'm already at the trailer store. So I thought about switching to the 40, or the 57X, because I still have that at the trailer store. But I'm trying to use different trucks. Let's see if we can get a little different view here. I'm trying to use different trucks for you guys, so it's, it's uh, different gameplay. Uh, it keeps it more interesting, you know, different trucks, different routes, that kind of a thing. And so I didn't... Oh! Yep, saw that one coming. Uh, so I didn't want to use the same truck, and I was like, whatever, I'll just use the 49X. And then, uh, when I was switching trucks, I saw that I had the, uh, collab on the map. And I'm like, oh wait, that that's pretty close, and it was actually just right there. But I was like, I don't want to just oh wait no maybe it was here yeah, I think it was here actually no I think it was back there uh, but I'm like I don't want to just drive it a little ways you know so I drove it further away basically we can use this 49x until we run out of road or tar road and then as soon as we get off the tar we'll switch to the collab and then we'll use that all the way until we get to uh, now I can't think of the map. Um, to Harvest Corp. And there we have uh, the K7M, which can't attach to it. But I figure we can uh, pull ourselves along with it if we need. So. Whoa. Alright, I gotta switch the view here. I'm hoping this is enough fuel to fill, fill up the collab, but I don't think it will be. I forget how much fuel that thing can carry. It's it's like 380 or something. So I should have I should have fueled this up. I should have fueled both of them up, honestly, because I drove this right past the trailer store as well. All right, so let's drop this here. Let's detach. Let's drive out just over here. And let's switch trucks. Yeah, this one only has 83. Oh, jeez. Oh, well. If I need to uh, drive a little bit, we do have the Western or uh, International Paystar 5600TS in the next map. Pushing all the wrong buttons. We do have that truck in the next map, which means we can drive a little bit and get get ourselves some fuel uh, let's just drop all of it 319 actually that's not too bad so I could have had a possible 60 more 
Oh well. The only thing that's not good about this is this is going to be a slow, slow crawl. And this trailer doesn't have sides, so if I get too tilted, uh, we're going to lose our cargo, which is not cool. And uh, it's probably going to happen at some point on this trip, just because it's, it's what happens when you have uh, heavy trailers. Or at least trailers without sides on them, how's that? I'm not excited about having to rescue this, and I'm hoping I can at least get to Harvest Corp. If I do have to rescue it there, at least I have uh, um, a, a garage. I couldn't think for a second. At least we would have a garage, so I'm, I'm, that might make you, if you guys are doing this mission, that might make you want to go through uh, through Harvest Corp just to have your garage in case you do something, or just have sides on your bed. That would that would work too. I don't know why I just drove this way because normally I cut through over there, so I'm making it harder on myself. I guess not too much harder, but a little bit longer maybe. Yeah, I think this this skin came out in phase six. It's pretty cool. A little different. I was trying to just miss that pole and it looks like I hit it and took away all of our momentum. But yeah, once we complete this contract, this will give us refueling services in Harvest Corp. I believe that's like all of the uh, like refueling and trailer stores that I can make on the, the maps. I'd have to look back through the, the contracts and see. I know there's still some warehouses that we can open. I don't know what they're for. I'm trying to think of... There's some, there's some other weird cargoes that... Not weird, but... Uh, there's some stuff that I don't know, like, we do have to get solar panels at some point, and I saw that on there. I know we have garbage, we haven't touched any of that, we got those... Oh shoot, I forgot there's a, a fuel station here. Sorry, I gotta make a detour. We're not, like, crazy low or anything, but... Yeah, if we can top up and get an extra 100 fuel, um... It's a good thing. I mean, this it's five minutes in this truck at 20 a liter. Or 20 a minute, 20 liters a minute. 20 a liter. Yeah, I've gone down this path quite a few times now. You guys are probably sick of it already. You can sometimes see a, a guy waiting at the bus stop up here. Or I guess I don't know if it's a bus stop, but it's like a little shelter area to sit down and I think it's a bus stop. Every once in a while, if you're far enough away, there's a guy there. Right directly above our lights. Well, it's hard when you're going uphill, but just off through the trees to the left here. Let's see if we can see him. And nope, there's nobody there. At least not this time. Yeah, sometimes there's a person here waiting. Kind of interesting. Alright, on to the next map we go. Okay, here we go. We're on our way. Yeah, I'd like to go all the way north on this road. Uh, just because it's more tar, but I think the river crossing on that way is going to be harder than the river crossing this way. Even though we have to cross the river one, two, I guess two times this way and that way we'd only have to do it once. I don't know. I still think this way is a little bit easier. Maybe I'm... I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Y 
Yikes, it always worries me when the trailer's tipping like that. But yeah, I'm still uh, still waiting to do some of those uh, different missions, you know. Like I said, I'm working on all the, the how-to type videos, and that's why this one is one of the first ones, but I'd like to carry some of those windmill blades and move around some trash, uh, some hay bales, I don't know, the cisterns, the uh, big new five-slot uh, cargo. It'd be fun to do some of that stuff, but I'm just trying to get through the, like, you know what I mean, the the most helpful, I guess, is that the is that the way I want to say it? I don't know. I'm trying to get out the most helpful content and then do the more fun stuff. Even though the more fun stuff right now would probably get a good, uh, good number of views. Probably not as much as the helpful stuff, but the more the better, you know? Oh. As I'm recording this, I'm, my phone is still uh, lighting up from comments and people subscribing and stuff because this game just just updated. This is still day two as I'm recording this, so this will probably come out like two weeks after this, uh, after I'm recording this, just because by the time I get out all of the how-to videos and then start editing all of the other ones, you know, it'll take a while. And I'll probably push out some other stuff first. I like to try and do these in order how I record them, but what I mean by other stuff is like today I made a video on all the tires, all the trucks that got the DMH, D MSH1s or DMHS1s, I always get it mixed up. But so I, I went around and got, you know, checked out every single truck's tires to see which ones got them, which ones didn't. Um, I, I did a quick, like, I was going to say review, but it wasn't a review, just, just the different customization options um, of the, the K700, the K7M, the Step, and the Rizvani Hercules, and I still haven't even edited those, like, they're not really, you know, uh, just like gameplay, they're not, they're not, like, playing the game, but they're related to the game. So, that's the kind of stuff that I might make one of those videos, you know, come out sooner than some of these, but I did, I released the, uh, the exploring, the first exploring video, and what else? The oh, the uh, the Beast Rising uh, contract. So ooh, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna switch it back to day here for you guys. All right, here we go. Yeah, so I still got a lot of stuff to edit because we're like, I don't know, maybe 30% done with the update. I'm just throwing out numbers. I don't actually have any idea. But all of the watchtowers count for percentage. All of the, uh, I don't know if we can go up over this or not. All the upgrades count for percentages, uh, the contests, the contracts, the tasks. That was actually really easy with this. I've struggled on those this crossing a few times. So that was nice that this was uh, actually really easy. But yeah, I'd like, like, when I was making some of these videos, like, I wanted to use the the K7M for this contract. I was like, oh, that'd be kind of cool, just pull a trailer, because, you know, it's only four cargo instead of uh, uh, five. But I was like, eh, I don't know, that's a long distance for a tractor to drive. Like, uh 
Like, I, I can find a use for it. This is so slow. Like, I can find a, a contract to use it in, for sure, you know. This one's just, it's across, you know, basically three full maps. So I have to drive all the way across the crossroads, all the way across the institute, and then, like, a good halfway, maybe, across uh, Harvest Corp. So I was like, eh, it's just, it's too far. So I'll have to find a shorter, uh, shorter distance one where I can use that and definitely want to use the K700 with some hay bales. That'll be fun to pick those up. Uh, what else can we do? I usually... Oh shoot, we're going left. Or right, I mean. Yeah, I'm going to top up on fuel here and then I'll uh, we'll get back on the road. So I'm just going to stop quick. Alright, here we go. Okay, um, I forgot where I was going with that, but, yeah, I'd like to find some contracts and tasks to use the, uh, K700 and K7M on. I know, like, for, for a couple of the screenshots, I think all of the vehicles and all the vehicles that you can drive up and get, I used the k 7 or, yeah, K700. I was going to say K7M. I used the K700 and I picked up the Dawn 71 with the, uh, the claw thing. It's kind of cool. The manipulator crane. Ooh, okay. I just thought about it. I wonder if I could pick up, like, these oil barrels. Like, I would... I bet you it would work. It's kind of hard to get under something, but... I might be able to. I'm not sure. I know there's a couple of things that are on pallets. I mean, I guess these are technically on pallets, too. They're just on, like, a, a blue plate first. This is another farm plot that you guys can uh, plow. You, maybe you've already done it, but I haven't. I haven't even been up this way yet. But I did this one on the PTS, and there's a trailer back there. Oh, shoot. I think I got a little distracted. I thought my controller died because it usually just starts going straight. But it didn't. Um, but yeah, there's a trailer for one of the missions. I forget which one, but it's way on the other side of the map. They have to bring all the way over here. It's a red one. The potato harvester. Alright. We are on the move. So this is Harvest Corp. This is probably the most mountainous one. Uh, it's weird because it's like really mountainous, but then it's probably got the most flat land as well. The other ones are kind of more hills. This one is like flat and then like rocky and mountainy. So if you guys go straight here, that bridge up there, at least right now, is out. So you're going to want to uh, take a left here if you're following the same path that I did. And I think I showed this at the start of the video, because, yeah, I, went, I go across the bridge here. And then I have to take an immediate right and go down to the water. And this is where I drove the uh, K7M all the way out to, so you can see it over there. Just in case I had trouble crossing it, but I wasn't... I drove the K7M out before I decided I was going to use the Colob. At that time, it was in my head that I was using the 49X, and I'm like, oh, jeez. 49X with a heavy trailer. I'm surprised, like I said, I haven't lost this at all yet, but the worst of it is right... Like, basically, once we get onto this island, until we get to the airport. Because then we're like... It's like back roads and turns and all that kind of weird stuff. Because turns are weird. <laughs> Okay. Well, that went pretty well. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna top up on fuel. I shouldn't need it. And it's pretty rare that I don't take fuel just because. I'm gonna have to pause it up here because I'm not sure exactly where I need to go. Actually I think that might be it right there. No it's not. That's definitely not it. It's like straight in front of me this way. 
I know it's south. Oh, I actually that water tower right above my head or my head right there at the very top of my my uh, lights right now. I'm trying to control it right right in the middle. I don't know. You can probably see it way up there, but that is where we gotta go. But yeah, this. I know I've said this in one of my videos. I I drove right off the edge on this. I just floored it and flew down the cliff for fun. This is one of the contests. You basically do a huge circle. Let's see what is it called? Crop circle. Yeah. You drive around this entire big open area. I didn't really pay close enough attention, so I didn't see how long we have, but uh, yeah. That that watchtower, oh jeez, put it in neutral. That watchtower up there is at the airport, or right by it. The airport's just off to the right of it. Actually, yeah, you can see the drop point now. I don't know. Maybe that drop point was there the whole time, and I'm just talking. I don't know where to go, and it's right there in my face. I could be. I could be a complete idiot. I don't know. But yeah, like I said, this is where it gets a little bit more more and more like crazy as we get closer and closer. I think we just basically go up this hill and it loops back to the right and then back down that way. We'll see. Honestly, I, I haven't... This is probably the map that I've played the least on. Because... Obviously, the crossroads had the most amount of stuff. Like, you start the game there and, you know, do a bunch of stuff there. And then I went to the Institute for quite a bit of stuff. And then I didn't really do Heartlands all that much either. But it didn't seem like there was very much there, but I probably needed to do more contracts to unlock more stuff, like the one for the K7M. Because that one sounds like it probably was in the game. Wait a minute. Yes, this is the road that leads there, but they make us do a weird turn. I remember this road now because when I did my exploring video, I remember this sign right... Wait, where's the sign? Right there. It basically says, don't bring a trailer or you might like get stuck. Like, because the, the hill kind of goes down or whatever like you're going up 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 and then you're going down you might high center on it kind of so but yeah there's the airport we're getting there this will give us refueling services which will be nice kind of right in the middle of the map I'm surprised we didn't lose it hey I think I saw a guy in a boat out there yep can see him just for a split. Oh shoot! Wasn't watching where I was going. I looked up and I saw a bridge. Yikes. Man, that could have been really bad. Should should pay attention where I'm going. I think that was the same sign as what I was looking at earlier. Or talking about earlier, not looking at. All right, I can't believe we made it in one piece. I really can't. I'm, well, don't speak too soon, but I believe we're good. And didn't screw up at all. So, yep, here we are. I haven't even really drove around here. I just parked next to the helicopter once and that's about it. So I don't know if there's more stuff to do around here or not. Like I said, this is the one I explored the least amount, so who knows. Alright, yeah, let's drop this off. There we go, fuel station is now available. And a new task. Down the hatch. I'm guessing that's the one.
Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.